Okay, let's talk about uh, Johnny Depp v. Rocky Brooks. So just a little quick recap. Johnny Depp was being sued by Rocky Brooks. He was a location manager of a film that they were working on called City of Lies. Uh, Rocky Brooks alleged that Johnny Depp uh, harangued him and punched him in the ribs. And Johnny Depp said that didn't happen. Uh, Johnny Depp said that Rocky Brooks was being verbally abusive towards a homeless black woman. And he stepped in and... That was it. And then towards the end of the night, um, after the, the film had wrapped up, Johnny Depp apologized and drank wine with him. Um, Rocky Brooks said that Johnny Depp did apologize, but that they didn't drink wine together. And yeah, more things happened afterwards. But that's basically like the what he alleged happened. Uh, other things that happened, Rocky Brooks was saying that like, oh, he wasn't able to find work and he was being blacklisted. Anyway, so that was supposed to go to trial. Uh, actually, in L.A., in the courthouse, um, Stanley Moss Courthouse. And uh, yeah, it's not going to happen because um, they came to a settlement. Because I wonder if Johnny Depp was going to go to trial, but then he's like, eh, I'd rather be on tour with Jeff Beck. Like, fuck it. Just just fucking settle. Because let's see. He's supposed to be July 12th. I think he's still on tour with Jeff Beck, right? They're they're like, I think um in a, in a couple of days, they have like a CD album that they're going to sell and all that stuff. I don't know. I, I feel like... um. Because Johnny Depp settles, I, I don't think it's an admission of guilt. Uh, we don't know. We don't know any background story. Um, only what's been um, available to the public so far. But we don't know what actually happened. And we need more witnesses, more evidence to, you know, come into light. But I don't know. I think it's possible that Johnny Depp was just like, hey, like, I don't really care about this. I just want to go on tour with Jeff Beck. And if you look at the Jeff Beck tour right here, uh, I mean, it seems like there's so many other places that he's going to be touring at. There's like Paris. I don't know. I can't pronounce any of these. Um, but yeah, I don't know. All the way to September. Oh, it seems like they were going to take a break for a little bit though. So maybe, um, tour wouldn't have, um, yeah, wouldn't have conflicted with the, with the, the, uh, the trial dates. But I know like his CD is coming out soon. Oh yeah. Like in a couple of days. So I don't know. I feel like he probably just wants to do music shit and I don't think he really wants to deal with it. But, uh, we don't know what the settlement amount is. Don't have access to that. All we know is there has been a settlement and there you, oh god. <laughs> this is a oh let me uh, oh, there you go. So this is all I have access to. Please take notice. Oh, am I out of order? I might be out of order. What is this? Uh we don't need this. What is this? Uh oh, this is Amber being sued. Okay, we won't go to that yet. Is this the same thing? Same thing. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, here it is. So we have, uh, this is the attorney for Rocky Brooks, uh, Azizian, Ar Arbella Azizian. I feel bad because I, <laughs> when I voiced her while reading the court transcript, I gave her a very like, um, peppy high pitch voice. But then I heard what her voice really sounded like. And I was like, oh, it sounded nothing like that. <laughs> but I was just trying to distinguish between the different voices. Okay. in the court transcript. So shush. All right. To the party, uh, to the court, all the parties. Man, I wish I could highlight this. I want to highlight this damn document. The entire case has been settled. The settlement is conditional. The settlement agreement conditions uh, dismissal this matter on the satisfactory completion of the specific terms that are not to be performed within 45 days of the date of settlement. A request for dismissal will be filed no later than 1-5-2023. So I was like wondering why it was pushed out to all the way in January. Um, but I did watch a video, but a guy who did this, uh, he mentioned that like, it's just like a buffer just in case anything were to like, uh, let's say the settlement, like it, it ends up falling out or that's not the word I'm looking for in case the settlement doesn't happen. And like, I don't know, something goes awry. <gasps> so that's why like the date was pushed out. So, so late like that. And yeah, I don't know. I don't really have much insight on this, but, um, I just saw this and I was like, oh, okay, cool. They, uh, they settled and there's no, uh, <laughs> They won't have a trial or anything. And not like it really matters uh, for us because like we wouldn't have been able to watch the trial anyways. I think like numerous amount of like uh, media outlets, they put in a request to cover the trial with like, you know, coming in and they can stream it. I think it all got denied, I feel like. But yeah, anyway, so uh, do I want to? I can't even make changes anyways, you liar. Um, the court has received a notice of settlement in order to show cause of hearing. Dismissal is hereby set on January 5th, 2023. Um, 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 do I have to read anything here? I don't think so. Oh, was that the wrong date? 
This one says February 16, 2023. Okay, so yeah, Johnny Depp has settled with Rocky Brooks. We don't have any details or anything. We don't know the amounts, but um, good for them. They don't have to go to court. They don't have to, uh, the jury doesn't need to show up. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, moving on to the next thing. Um, this will be really brief as well, because I'm sure a lot of people have talked about it, but I just want to talk about it briefly, you know, since we've been covering the defamation trial. 